everybody. I hope your weekend is going really well. I have a old hymn for you today and two great stories to go along with it. This is from 1763 and it was by the Reverend Augustus Toplady. Um, I'm sure that's probably pronounced different, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. Um, the Reverend was traveling along Burrington Combe in England and a terrible storm arose. And so um, he got caught in it and he was trying to find somewhere to find shelter. And he saw a rock up there and there was a, um, a cleft in it. And so he went over there and he found shelter from the storm in this cleft. And um, there's even a picture where it says Rock of Ages um, is, was stamped now on this rock. And uh, this inspired him while he was trying to wait out the storm to write down some beautiful lyrics to an age old hymn that we know as Rock of Ages. Um, now the story I'm gonna tell next starts in 1836. So we were in 1763, now let's go to 1836. And there's a missionary by the name of Daniel Draper. And he and his wife went to Australia and served for many years. They saw many churches opened and many converts. And um, it would be 29 years later, so it was 1866, that he and his wife um, said, you know, we haven't been back to England for a while. Let's go see friends and family again. And um, they went back to England and they had a nice visit. And then they... Uh, were boarding the, um, I think it was called the London. Yes. Um, they boarded the London to go back to Australia and they were on there with 239 other passengers. The sea was calm when they started because they left at midnight. And um, two days later, the winds and the gale have really picked up. And um, there was a lot of cargo on the ship probably too much, and um, the ship's rigging became blown away, and um, Daniel Draper decides to hold a prayer meeting in the saloon, so he is there with other believers and other people who are scared of the storm. They decide to, to go there and um, to the prayer meeting to pray, to listen to, um, to preaching, and the storm continued to get worse. Um, the ship was rocked back and forth, furthering the damage to it. And then upon, before they knew it, it was a full force hurricane that was upon them. And at this time, the captain had decided, you know what, we're just gonna turn around and sail back to England and hopefully try to make it there. And um, when they tried to do this, there was a mountain of water that came in and fell on the main deck. And it um, also destroyed the skylight of the engine room and all the fires that they had going in that engine room. Um, and so the captain now told everyone, you need to say your prayers. It's, it's not looking good right now. So um, Daniel Draper still begins to... Um, to hold prayer meetings and um, in the saloon again, which I just loved how um, turning a, a place of debauchery into a place of prayer meeting. Listen, you can have prayer anywhere, anytime. Don't matter where it is. And so he invited all to come to Christ for salvation. He knew how doomed the ship was and so did everybody else. So he wanted to give an open, open salvation message, a, a meeting. And um, mothers were holding their children as they were in this prayer meeting and they were weeping and um, friends were saying goodbye to each other. I mean, this is, this is cutting it close here. They, they know that they're doomed. And at dawn, the captain announced all hope is lost because they were still trying to save it, but there was just no saving it now. And so Draper, he followed by saying this, he said, the captain tells us that there is no hope, that we must all perish. But I tell you, there is hope, hope for all. Although we must die and shall never again see land, we may all make that port of heaven. Isn't that great? 
So um, on that day, there was 220 that died and there were 19 survivors. Draper was not one of them. But a survivor said as he left the ship, he could hear people singing this song. Rock of Ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. While I draw this fleeting breath, when my eyes shall close in death, when I rise to worlds unknown and behold thee on thy throne, rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Well, I hope one day when it's my turn to go leave this world that I can leave singing or that I can have such strong last words as Draper did when he said, everyone can come to the port of heaven and everyone is welcome. And if you haven't accepted Christ as your savior today, I pray that you don't put it off. I pray that you would just invite him in. There's no fancy way to do it. You just have to say, Lord, I'm a sinner and I look to you for my salvation. Please come in my heart this day. Take all my sins away in Jesus name and then you'll be saved. So my friends, have a lovely weekend. I'll see you next Sunday for A Hymn in a History.